Today I'm going to show you how I used to tie an egg loop knot and how I tie them now and why. Okay, so here in the Pacific Northwest, the egg loop knot is probably one of the most popular knots and uh, it's not just for eggs, but that's how it got its name and I'll show you why, but you'll see in a second that it can be used for a lot of different applications and I'll show you how to tie the old way and then why I tie it a different way. So I have this high vis yellow line, it's pretty light diameter and just a red hook for tying purposes, but um, if you're tying these knots already, you probably have your preferences, so I'm not gonna go over that. So typically you're gonna pass it through the eye of the hook. Just like that. Then you're gonna do several wraps. I just did about 12 wraps. Um, that's pretty standard for me. I'm gonna hold it with my finger. Pass the other end back through the eye of the hook. And pinch it again, get that loop out of the way. And then you're just gonna continue wrapping over that tag in you just created. Usually five or six more times is adequate. And then you pull this tag in, or you don't pull the tag in, you pull the loose end to tighten it. So that's your pretty standard egg loop knot. Uh, you can push this back through. So there's your egg loop. If you're going to put eggs in there. But this knot is not just used for eggs. Um, people use it for all sorts of applications. So typically you take this tag in that you created and you cut it off and throw it away. And that's what you're left with. But when you're using heavier line, this little tag in that you leave right there, I've found over the years, catches on your bait. So specifically like herring and sand shrimp or even night crawlers or anything like that. When you're taking this hook and you're passing it through and then pulling it to pull the, the bait up onto your line, that little tag in right there will catch your bait and tear it as it's going through. So I really like to fish sand shrimp a lot and I found that this thing will tear a sand shrimp up as it's passing through and then it'll fall off the hook a lot easier. Um, fishing off the jetties, fishing for steelhead, salmon, you name it. You want to keep your sand shrimp in as good a condition as you can. But then this will also work if you're tying mooching rigs which basically means you're going to tie another hook right about here and then you're gonna pass it through a cut plug herring or something if you're gonna be uh, trolling for salmon. And it's the same thing. This can, uh, as it's passing through, it can, it can tear a bigger hole than you want. And you wanna keep your bait as fresh and as uh, good condition as you can to be in the water for a long period of time. So I'm gonna show you how I tie it now. Okay, so I'm gonna start the same way. Put it through the eye of the hook. I'm going to just do my initial wraps. Okay, so there's my initial wraps, but now I'm going to keep that tight. I'm actually going to take this tag and I'm going to push it up and kind of bend it a little bit. And you'll notice this when you're using the heavier line that it'll bend and stay a little bit. But now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut that tag in. Okay. 
So there's my tag in. And now I'm going to proceed to tie the rest of the knot. You're going to pass it through, pull that end, pinch it, and then pull that, pull that down. So there's your tag in. You're ready to start wrapping again. Now just keep wrapping until you pass the end of that tag end that you cut off. So right about there. Now I'm going to grab my other end, pull it tight, and there you go. So now I still have an egg loop knot. You see there's my egg loop. I can still use that, put my eggs in or whatever. And now that you'll notice the difference is there's no tag end hanging out. It's a smooth knot. So now when I'm fishing sand shrimp, or if I'm tying mooching rigs, or whatever I'm doing, now as I use this hook, pass it through the bait, and slide it up over the, sh the shank of the hook and onto the line, it's going to be much more smooth and it won't tear as much. So that's how I'm tying my egg loop knots now. I hope this is helpful for you. I hope you, uh, you got something out of this video. And uh, until next time. I appreciate you and take care.